When is the best time to visit Rome? Is it January? Check it out. Now that tourism has returned to Rome, so many people are asking when is the best time to visit because it is packed in Rome since things reopened. It has been super, super busy here. If you're thinking January, you might want to know that the first week of January is really, really high season. Why? For Italians, the holiday season doesn't finish until January 6th, the Befana, the Day of the Kings. So all the trees are still up, the lights are still up, people are out shopping, and it's just a very festive time to be here. There is a holdover from all of the holiday visitors, and so the first week of January is really, really busy in Rome. By the second week of January, things usually slow down quite a bit. In recent years, we have seen that there is almost no low season anymore. Even the months that we used to think of as low season, February, March, uh, November, they've been getting busier because people have been looking for times to come to Rome when it wasn't so crowded. Despite a huge return to travel, including what some are calling revenge travel, and despite an extremely busy Italy and Rome in particular, I do think that January is still a very good time of year to visit Rome if you're looking for quiet. So probably the quietest time of year that you can uh, visit Rome is going to be from around the second week of January to just about the first week of February. And that's kind of it. February, yes, February's winter. You might think it's low season. It's probably going to be quieter in February than in spring. But in recent years, we've also seen an increase in visitors in February, although it still is going to be a lower season than spring. Okay, so this is the line to get into St. Peter's Basilica. There is the um, security section over there. In previous years, sometime in March is when we started to see those big tour buses start to arrive in Rome, and then that's when we kind of knew that the season was kicking off. Um, Alessandra and I used to run a hotel, a boutique B&B, and so we really had our finger on the pulse of when the tourist season was beginning. As I say though, March is going to start being more and more crowded as I think more and more people are looking for those times when they think that it will be a little quieter. If you're looking for the most beautiful time of year to visit Rome, it's definitely going to be spring and fall. So April, May, even early June, and then again in late September and October. But because those are the most beautiful times of year to visit Rome, it's also when it is the peakest, peakest season. And you know, over the years I've heard these arguments, well wait, I thought summer would be peak season. Um, why is spring and fall, why are these high seasons? You know, I thought, I thought it would be a good time to come to Rome. And yes, if you think it's a good time to come to Rome, so do a lot of people. And if you are not tied to a school year and forced to travel to Rome in the summer and you can come in spring or fall, that's when people tend to come because it is so beautiful. If you're thinking that summer is in fact a high season, it actually isn't. It's so hot and sticky in Rome that it's kind of a mid season. Although again, this has been, uh, these lines have been blurred in the past few years. If spring and fall are the most beautiful times of year to visit Rome, but it's super, super crowded. And if summer is maybe not such a high season, but it's really hot and sticky and uncomfortable and winter is still kind of crowded, when is the best time to visit Rome. In my opinion, there are two moments of the year when you can visit Rome and expect pretty nice weather and not too crazy crowds. The first is the very end of August. August can be a really busy time in Rome because of families traveling, people with small kids, uh, students themselves, college students, teachers, etc. So it is a busy travel time, but at the very end of August, all of those travelers are heading home. September is historically and very notoriously one of the busiest times of year to visit Rome. But this really kicks off around the first or second week of September. So at the very end of August, beginning of September, that last week of August, first week of September, you're gonna find smaller crowds, believe it or not, and pretty nice weather because the heat, that really intense heat and humidity that we get in July and August is starting to dissipate a little bit. And the September high season fall travelers have not yet come to Rome in full force. So as a result, you have this moment, this sort of 
transitional moment from when the summer travelers are leaving and the fall travelers haven't quite gotten here yet and the weather is starting to turn just a little bit and so that very last week of August, first week of September is a great time to visit Rome for good weather and slightly smaller crowds. The other moment of the year when it is a great time to visit Rome is another transitional moment which is the end of November. I used to say that early November was a good time to visit Rome but we've had a lot of people coming in early November now because they're trying to escape the huge crowds you will find in October. Guys, we're near the Pantheon. This is just a little glimpse of the kinds of crowds that you can expect in Rome in the beginning of November. So as a result, mid-November, early to mid-November is actually fairly busy in Rome. But the end of November is kind of a transitional moment in terms of weather and crowds. You've got those fall visitors that have left and the holiday travelers have not really started coming yet. Also, it is still a fall month, even if it's starting to get colder and a little bit darker. So the weather is pretty reasonable and you should find smaller crowds. No matter when you come, you're going to have a wonderful time in Rome, so pack your bags and come on over. For more tips for your trip, check out my top 10 tips for visiting Rome.